TV10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded on the 2nd of December 2020. Thank you to the Berkeley County Sheriff's Office for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will feature an investigation into a domestic disturbance, which results in an arrest for extradition. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, we experienced knowledge. Our we have previous hours, They'd probably uh, think that we should run code to this place of tires. Yeah. All right. Where's your caller? Grab some information off this real quick. Caller's going to be in Cumberland. I'm one of those people that's got to write stuff down and then I uh, memorize it better. I'm like that too. I have to write myself notes for everything. Cause you, I just come into contact with so many people's name. Now there are guys, there are guys that are great. They don't need to write shit down. They memorize a lot of it. Uh, 156 Berkeley. 156. To clarify that Gidi's gonna be your victim and Stever's gonna be your potential suspect. That's affirmative. Okay. Her name is Ashley Geedy. Okay. sure I don't rush things so I'm gonna make sure I give uh, where we're going to uh, basically assist an officer before we go and make contact in case for whatever reason something happens I have to make a contact because our safety is obviously important Do you have any knives or weapons or cops or anything on you? Anything can harm me? No, sir. All right, you mind putting the box down? Okay. All right. Man, if you don't mind, can you step back to that uh, bookcase right there? All right, buddy. Yeah. Um, get your hands out of your pocket. Turn around. Put your hands on the smaller back. I'm just going to do this. Yeah, I'm just going to do a like, search on you. All right, make sure you don't have anything on you for my protection and everybody else, all right? Something happened? Yeah. Um, 
I'm gonna talk. To, I'm gonna talk to her real quick. Oh, yeah, I'm just taking my. Um, I'm gonna have you sit here. Okay. All right. Um, sit away from the box. Right. All right. All right. I gotta check out every call I get. Oh, yeah. Somebody made a mistake. You weren't. I got you. Literally just got dressed. And and that's all I want to do. I want to okay. talk to her. I want to talk to you. Um, yeah. I'm not seeing anything that looks like anything criminal occurred. Oh yeah. Uh, you know she looks fine to me. Oh yeah. Just, nothing matches up other than your old name. Oh yeah. They just came. Call. Just got this from UPS and it was the wrong size. They just told me to take it to the UPS store and return it. Okay. Why are you on that direction? The stairs are right here to go outside. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, where, where, are where, where are y'all parked at? Out in the parking lot. Yeah, yeah, I was just in the parking lot. Did, see where they just went down? Yeah. We're okay. right there. <laughs> okay. I got you. All right, man. All right. Yep. All right. You have a good day. Carry right. on. Thank you, sir. Sorry. No, you're fine. Good go. Yeah, you're good. Just, just hold tight. I'm waiting for uh, dispatch to come back. Okay. We'll go from there. Hey, Cam. Hi, do you have the piece I can send this in the car? Yes. Just stay with the eyesight with me until oh, the dispatch gets back to me, all right? One thirty four. Where can I go? Let me step out here. Sir, can you step out here? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I thought he said stand right there.
People reading romance novels in the hallway here. I wonder. Library here. Yeah, we got some religious books, some rock and rollers on the wall. Yeah. It's an interesting little area here. <laughs> Good to know. I don't think I've ever been in here at night. I'm always in here during the day. Yeah, they're they're renovating the whole building. Good. Maybe they can restore to a swing here. Yeah. 
contact information for the agency that they'll look out there. Do you got relief in there? They say something happened there? They say you're before that anyway. Contact and clear up what's going on. Yeah, I was released. I was there for like three weeks yeah. release. With no charges. Stumble upon some some good buses. You like ride with him all the time? No, nah, it's usually somebody different. Every day. Every time. Yeah, it's some of the some of the same people again. Must be exciting for you. Me? Yeah. To be on the news. Huh? To be on the news or well, not the news, I guess. No, I don't know. I'd rather be behind the camera than in front of it personally. Yeah. Keep me out of it. Yeah. I got stage fright, I guess. Except for if I'm getting, if I if I can do like a prepared speech, mm -hmm. and I go in knowing what I'm saying. Right. If I have to, if like I'm in front of, if I'm in front of, do it off the top of your head. Yeah, if, yeah. If I do something off the top of my head, then I'm nervous, and then I make mistakes. I say stupid. <laughs> Stutter. Stutter. Yeah. I overthink stuff. But if I'm like, see, not like, but that. if I have preparation. Good. See, no, preparation, even with preparation, like I had to make a speech at my grandpa's funeral, nine months pregnant. Yeah. Mm. That was a whole mess. Yeah. I'll never do it again. Like, don't ask me ever again to do it. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm like choking on my spit and yeah, like I have like, and I have like the ugly cry too. too. So like, my ugly cry, I'm like hyperventilating and like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so don't ask me to do it.
Mm. So what were y'all doing out in Oklahoma? Oh, my friend lived out there. We went out there to help her with bills. And her child, she didn't have child care, and she couldn't pay her bills. She was by herself, so we went out there to help her. And it's like, cost living out there is super cheap. It's like $400 for like two bedrooms. Cost of living in this state is cheap too. This this county here, yeah, it's right this, here. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's, it's, this is cheap. Right. This hotel is the cheapest hotel ever, but I mean, it's expensive, obviously. They're cheaper in this county. Really? Oh yeah. Hotel? Yeah. Well, you pay for night forty, fifty. Forty-seven. Well, we pay for yeah, they're cheap. Forty-seven. <laughs> okay, well, I don't. But know the with the homeless. Oh yeah. And what you're talking about is probably not. There's a lot worse in those spots. No, I mean it's. Four hundred dollars for like two bedroom down there. It's nice, but it's like their blocks are city blocks. So like I come from a small town where like a block was like from two twenty nine to like two twenty three. That's blocked me. Yeah. <laughs> like red light, red light. Their blocks are like four miles long. So like she was like, yeah, pay my dollars like a block down the street. I just started walking and I walked yeah, like two miles. Yeah, it's wide open. It's flat. Yeah. It's, it's so crazy. flat. It's a nice city. I want to go to Texas. I love Texas. I'm a Dallas fan, so. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't want to go to Texas. I want to go to Texas. For that reason only. <laughs> really? Yeah, Texas, Texas is nice. I haven't been to Dallas, but Texas is a pretty sweet city. I hear Austin is awesome, nice. It is. It's really cool. Yeah. It's, uh, it's got a great nightlife. People there are really friendly. They're staying, but unlike some other states, which I'm not going to name because we're on camera. Um, <laughs> they like to talk about their states and how great it is, but when you go to their state, they act like you're the no, When no. you go to Texas, they're like, come well, join us. Yeah. Welcome, brother. Yeah. And then, like, Texans are really hostile. They're, they're really cool people. I hear Vegas is like that. I haven't been to Nevada. My grandma and grandpa used to live out there. They lived out there for like six years. Yeah. They lived the past. <laughs> New York. New York. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said I thought I was eating from Oklahoma. Yeah, turn around and put your hands on the back. I'll explain it to you. We were on the back. But they, what happened was the day they released you, yeah. they were supposed to release you to another place. Okay. And they, that, that place never came to get you. Okay. So they, the Oklahoma just accidentally let you go instead of making you stay there longer. But now that's why you're eating, you're being covered. Yeah. Yeah. That's something you might want to uh, fly down there. Yeah, that, that, so where am I going now, Oklahoma? Not right now, no. Nah. Nah. You're going to the ER day. Is uh, there anything you want to give yeah. her? Yeah, I will get my mask. Um, can you take out some, take out some money and put the rest in my pocket? 
So I guess mom's coming back down to get the stuff. What do you want? Um, just take like 300, 400 and put the rest in because I'm probably going to need it for a bail or for something. So I have it right there with me. But the room's paid for. Mom said she'll bring more money back down and she's going to come get whatever stuff. How much did you take? Three, four. Okay. What chap said? Where's the cigarettes? They're where I didn't have them. They were in the room. So we're going to take you to our local regional jail. Okay. Can you reach my back pockets make sure? They'll, they'll take care of you. I don't there. have anything back there. I think just the shoe straps. So can she walk down to the car with us so I can put a pair of shoes on? I got a pair of shoes in the trunk of the car, like a pair of sneakers. I'm not going to be able to have those. No, they, they don't. They'll take your shoes. They're your sneakers too. Well, if I'm going somewhere else, though, I want to like be able to. So you want to be in? You want to be in? Yeah, you want to get all out of your nice shoes? Yeah. All right, I'm cool with that. There's just a pair of shoes. Where's your vehicle? Right, right out. Right back. Okay. Can you just get no black and gray Hey, what we're gonna do? We're gonna take him to the car. We're gonna take. I'm gonna take him to my cruiser. You can I just sit here for a second and she can just run and grab him? You meet us. No, we're gonna we're gonna be a, we're gonna put you in the car. You meet us there. At, oh, okay. I'm out at the very front where you signed in and paid. The high top gray black and The LeBron's. All right. We're in the box. Meet us there with the shoes. You know my number. My number. No, maybe they'll write it down. I'll I'll, I'll let you do that too. For a while. <laughs> so I'm going to what's the ERJ? Eastern Regional Jail. And what am I going to do there? Uh, you'll sit there until they decide uh, where. I think you're going back to Pennsylvania, from my understanding. So they're taking you back to Pennsylvania. Yeah. So I can't just pay bail and get released or something. No, no. Whenever I was in Oklahoma and they released me, they said Pennsylvania said they weren't doing it, and they thought it was because of Corona wow. that they weren't holding people. Oh, or, so Pennsylvania was supposed to go down to Oklahoma and get you. Yeah, yeah, they did, and then I thought Oklahoma told me due to Corona or whatever that they were releasing people and not holding people. Wow. I mean, I could have misunderstood that, but I thought that that was. Well, it sounds like it's not like so many made a mistake. Right. Uh, and it wasn't you that made a mistake. Yeah, but hopefully, hopefully, it's it's escaped, hopefully, but hopefully it gets corrected. I mean, you were you were coming out as a fugitive, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, they're, they're, like, like, yeah, they left you they, Like I said, they said you were detained yeah. in Oklahoma. So. Yeah, so like, when they called out your stats, he and I gave each other a look like, what was the stats? Like, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't clear. Like, it was more than the in Oklahoma. Yeah, that's up to him. Yeah, it doesn't time, but I got ways to be there. Do you have a cigarette? Yeah, that cool? Bring me a cigarette over. I'm not the arresting. Yeah. Can I just sit on the curb and smoke a cigarette? She's bringing that girl right there. Has one. All right, check the time. What time? Why she's bringing my shoes up? Remember? Why well, she's bringing my shoes up? Remember? Yeah. I'll so can I just sit on the curb? I'll let you have a smoke. Now go ahead and sit in the car. Okay. Can you? Yeah, I don't want you to get home. Never mind. Step to Good, Senate. Yeah, I don't want you to smell on my car. <laughs> I don't want to know about that. <laughs> I don't think you're going to take that being on my car. They said they had me like, Oklahoma jail, <laughs> and then they said they let me go because it was a mistake. I have to go to Pennsylvania because I was supposed to go there, but. Corona, they didn't hold me, I guess, so now they're taking people back. So you gotta go to I yeah, I don't even smoke my first time. I don't have to be I paid the room for two days and gave Ashley I used to, like, but I quit. A week and a half, she has, like, four hundred. The room's paying for, I think, two more days, and then that'll pay, like, a week and a half. Right. Caught smuggling anything in the I'm not. They're gonna. No, you, they're gonna. They're gonna hit you with a felony. Yeah, it's cool. All right. I'm not. I literally. <laughs> He's like hell no. Nah. You don't want to. You want to be in trouble with West
I'm just saying, if you do have me, I'm just giving you the brief I give everybody, all right? Um, if you have anything on you that's, you, that's possible contraband, hand, hand it over to me now. I'll take it in for evidence for destruction. I won't charge you with possession of anything, all right? All right. Um, unless it looks like you're going to you know, sell it. Right. But uh, otherwise, yeah, know, hand it over. Otherwise, you, you can go to jail. It gets bumped up to a felony. I'll call my number. I know my number. You're getting actual of your jeans. It's a quick, it's short drive. It's short drive. Lean, lean forward, all right? All right. Love you. All right. Um, yeah. You were informed I, about your driver's license, right? Huh? You informed me about your driver's license? Huh? No, your driver's license is suspended. I would okay. not be driving. Yeah. All right. Because then you'll end up in the jail. All right. All right. Thank all right. you. You going with? Yeah, I guess so. Hi, brother. No problem. But you can chime in too, bud. Oh, you were talking to him. Yeah, I was talking oh, okay. to the cameraman, not Cameron. Sorry. <laughs> I guess that is confusing. So yeah, like every you know, every now and then. I mean, I'm not a jail expert, man. My time, uh -oh. my time in jail has only been to drop people off. So, uh -oh. you know, I guess if I was to compare off of. Uh, mere uh, inspection of in uh, what they call intake I would say the food smells like um, yeah I wouldn't want to be there if I was to go to prison I'm, or just correction jail if I was to go any place locked up it'd be France <laughs> You get weekends off, you get wine, dinner, and you get to go home on the weekends? You get to go home on the weekends. Wow. Unless you're in uh, a prison for uh, dangerous inmates. Yeah, you get to go home on weekends, holidays, you get to go to work, you get basically, you get to, uh, as long as your job doesn't like let you go or fire you, um, you get to pretty much maintain your professional career while you're locked up. You basically, you sleep there at night. Monday through Friday, I guess, I don't know. And you get wine with dinner. 
get wine for dinner? Yeah, you get. I said you get wine with dinner. Oh, wine. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? You're not drinking toilet hooch or whatever. They drink in that jail. I don't know, man. I wasn't a CEO. There's some guys that uh, work here that uh, were CEOs at the jail we're going to, and they yeah. could give you a lot better insight. I only... So you said I don't get the here? No, you, they give you, like, Crocs, like, really... Oh, but I don't need these ones. So they're going to take those and all your clothes and personal items. Yeah. They're going to put them in, like, a big plastic bag, keep them together. I don't know if they wash them or whatnot, but... Uh, they're going to take all your personal stuff, put it in those bags, and then they're going to give you the jail uniform, which is a traditional orange jumpsuit and uh, Crocs. They look like Crocs. I don't know. I'm sure they're not Croc brand, because those are like 70 bucks a pop. But... something to like learn for the most part i think you waste a day in life if you don't learn something right that day like that's, that's a waste of a day if you don't learn something or you don't have a good day i mean that's a waste of a day um so with his situation it was kind of interesting like if he was a traditional fugitive they would have called they would have told us that um over the radio but from what they told us, it sounded like he was supposed to be transferred to another agency and jurisdiction, and the uh, jurisdiction that he was in uh, didn't do the proper paperwork, so he shouldn't have been, um, you know, freed from incarceration. He should have been transferred to this other, other jurisdiction in Pennsylvania, and I guess Oklahoma made a mistake. That's from what my understanding. Who knows? Maybe Pennsylvania made a mistake. I'm not sure. Or he could have made the mistake. That's unclear to me. But I was told that uh, Pennsylvania will, um, you know, take custody of him. So we're taking him to the RJ until he'll be held there until he can be transferred to Pennsylvania, which I don't have a timeline or no. How I go to court? Um, dude, I don't know how Pennsylvania does things. I know you're going to sit at the jail until they uh, decide decide what they're going to do. Well, they they have some type of decision what they're going to do with you, but until they get the proper paperwork, so they're going to need to send over um, extradition paperwork, right? Right. Um, and that's going to give them legal uh, calls to take you into their custody. And then they'll probably send out uh, deputies from their jurisdiction or uh, whoever handles their um, inmate transportation to come grab you. They'll transport you. Pennsylvania, obviously, is not that far away. So, right. where are you from in Pennsylvania? Uh, Carlisle. Maybe an hour and a half, hour and 15 minutes. Okay. And I think that's the uh, sheriff's office that um, has the uh, extradition paperwork on you. So, yeah. And somebody called you guys and said that there was fighting in my room. Yeah. It's really odd. <laughs> it is, man. It's, it is very odd. I, we, we have really just got dressed and we're on our way to the store. I got you. I don't know if it's true, but it, it at least feels like that I always... If something interesting, if it's an interesting or kind of different situation, it seems like... Uh, I always end up on one, like, that's you know, what did you get? Huh? That's yeah, like, like I mean, like I learned, I learned a lot in uh, what they call field training. Uh -huh. um, but there's, but even past that, like you know, you can talk to the guys that have done thirty years in uh, the department, and the guys that are, you know, good cops that have thirty years in uh, or twenty years in, they'll tell you they never stop learning. Like, there's always something to learn about the job. You'll never met. You'll never. You'll never master this job. It's just something I always learning. They teach you a lot, like I said, in your field training. But 
there's so much more to learn outside of field training because you they can't guarantee what calls you're going to take and what kind of calls you're not going to take 